Lumen Technologies has been in a downfall. Their stock price was once around $20 per share. Now you can pick up shares for a little over a dollar per share. Is this company worth taking a look at? I mean, if they survive and they make it, this is a multi-bagger very automatically. So it's a very high return proposition. It also comes with incredibly high risk. So for those investors that want to look at a very risky investment, check out this video. I'm going to take a look at Lumen Technologies, evaluate the company, and see what I think the stock price is worth. Now, what it's worth is all dependent on their ability to survive. They're in the communications industry. And by the way, no one's doing great in the communications industry. I'm going to compare them to AT&T and Verizon. And both those big giant companies, they have problems themselves. Their stock prices are not soaring by any means. So let's get into Lumen and take a look at where I think they're valued. Now, before I jump into my process in evaluating Lumen, do me a big favor and like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. I like creating videos based on my experiences, and I also have an MBA so I can evaluate companies. I've worked in as an accountant and was educated in accounting as well. And part of my journey of being a good investor has been developing a process that works for me. And this process has been in the making for years, but it involves four questions followed by an action item. The first question, do I want to be a part owner in the company I'm evaluating? And do I like the industry? Do I think the management team's doing a good job and their performance is good? Is debt less than three times EBITDA? And I want to discount the stock. That way I could see my investment go up in value. And based on the answers to those questions, I buy, hold, or sell a particular stock. Lumen set off to be a very good communications company, really, especially around business communications. So if you're a business and you want broadband internet for all your employees, if you want to connect multiple locations on a big network, Lumen is the partner you want. They'll create all of that and get you connected. Consumers can also buy uh, broadband, for example, or they have a fiber service and you can buy that from Lumen. But uh, you know, it's, it's very similar to AT&T and Verizon. They have businesses like this. And unfortunately it's a commodity now and um, we love broadband, can't live without it, but it's really become a commodity. And we've seen that internet fees, especially if you compare it to the, the type of speed you're getting, those prices have been going down. For example, I used to, I used to spend $200 to get broadband from my cable company. And uh, now I got fiber and my, my speed pretty much went up three or four X, but the cost went down to $50. So I get better speed at much lower cost. So I think that's part of what Lumen is struggling with is they have um, a selling price that continues to go down per uh, giga speed. And their market, although they have a solid business, um, you know, the, the top line revenue just keep continues to go down because prices for broadband can continue to go down. Looking at Lumen's most recent income statement, it has a lot of losses, but let's take a closer look. First, operating revenue is down. And they have been divesting. They've been selling off pieces of the company. They're in survival mode and they sold off pieces. So when you compare the prior year, Q2, it was higher by about $700 million. And I think that represents a business they had in South America. So that's understandable. Quarter over quarter, it went down a little bit. That's more concerning. It'd be nice for it to be flat or for it to be going up so that they could show, hey, quarter over quarter, we're, we're either selling more or we're raising prices and we're really stabilizing our revenue. So that's a little bit of a concern. Now they divested a business, so they had to write off a big, you know, goodwill uh, uh, on their balance sheet. When you sell off a business, if you have goodwill on the balance sheet, when you sell that business, you have to write off whatever remaining goodwill is associated to that business. So they call it an impairment. And that's what the impairment hit their 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 gap based income statement. But in reality, when you exclude those special items of that impairment, they still made money. That's very good. Very good that they're making money. Taking a look at the balance sheet, they have a 4.3 debt to EBITDA, which is too high. Again, the company's in survival mode, but it it has to improve. 
they were at the beginning of 2022, they had somewhere in the neighborhood of $28 billion in debt, and they brought it down to about $20 billion in debt. That's very good, uh, but they have to keep going. They have to get their EBITDA to be um, the, the ratio to be less than three, and that would make it a good balance sheet. FYI, if you compare this to AT&T or Verizon, they too have this problem. AT&T and Verizon have high debt. So this is not a Lumen, you know, unique um, you know, occurrence. Verizon and AT&T also have this problem. That's why I don't invest in either of those companies as well. If the company can continue to operate and make it, I believe the company is worth uh, about $8.7 billion. And their current market cap is well below that. It's uh, way below it. Their per share price, they're actually, I value the company at $8.71. And now they're trading a little over a dollar. So I'm using a valuation that I used um, about seven months ago. But I wanted to refer back to it for my valuation for this video, just to get to the number $8.71. The cash flow estimates have not changed because I used their guidance. They are operating toward that guidance, which is good to see. If they can hit this guidance and then they can get back to what they historically would have done with their current business, that's where the stock is worth, $8.71. So let's take Lumen through my scorecard. First, is it a company that I would own, be part owner, and an industry that I like? So the answer is yes. You know, I think Lumen has a good chance of making it. And I have liked the communications industry. For some reason right now, just balance sheets are terrible for communications companies. And I have been an owner in communications companies. But in this case here, if Lumen can just right the ship, they could be worth a lot of money. I can't give the management team a check mark. It's just there's too much trouble. And they are, you know, hey, they can pull this company out. I'll give them a double check mark. The debt is too high. They got to get it down. I think they're they're trying to get the debt. As mentioned, the debt's gone down about $9 billion on the balance sheet, which is very good. They offer a very attractive discount. This could be a multi-bagger. If they make it, you got a multi-bagger. But you have a high risk profile as well. You can lose pretty much all your money on this investment as well. So I'd be a holder of Lumen Technologies. I'm going to track this closely. If I continue to see an improvement, I'm going to be a buyer because it's just too much value to walk away from. I'm not going to you know, put a big bet on Lumen, but if they keep improving, I'm going to watch their earnings for the next quarter. I will be a buyer if they convince me that they're, they have a good chance of making it. So looking at the stock for the past year, boy, it's been a free fall. They were around $10 per share a year ago, and now they're at $1.42 per share. What a drop. And year to date, they're down 73.56%. Uh, so, wow, what a drop. Again, if these guys make it, the only direction that they can go in is up. And based on the valuation I have, based on the guidance they've provided, if they can if they can right the ship and make this business work and remain profitable, you can really multiply your money times six um, in in the near future, if not over the next five years. So it's an interesting stock, but it is very risky. Compared to the other giant companies, you know, at the beginning of the year there, they, they kind of started. Um, if you compare them to AT&T and Verizon, they kind of started in the same place. And uh, AT&T and Verizon are also down. Verizon is down 21% year to date, or excuse me, over the past year. Uh, AT&T is down 15% over the past year. And AT&T has had their set of problems, not a perfect company by any means. But I think there's so many investors in AT&T. It's such a well-known name that they're going to make it. But their balance sheet's terrible. Verizon's balance sheet is terrible. <laughs> I've seen them both. So uh, they're, they're not any different in that respect compared to Lumen. So that's Lumen Technologies. And, you know, I'd rather see a business make it than fail. I think Lumen had a good idea, which is communications and just the market's been tough. It's been tough on all the players there. 
Um, so I'm hoping they make it, but they do have a lot of work ahead of them. And this is a very risky stock. And uh, we'll see if they make it. If they make it, it'll be kind of fun to watch. Really fun to watch to see how fast it climbs. And I bet you it'll ca catch a lot of attention. Uh, but if they don't, it's kind of they're digging their own grave. Uh, it can't go down any much further. They're a dollar forty a share. You got to think that the assets are worth something, especially the, the networks they own. So it'll be an interesting company to follow. I'll certainly be watching. And uh, I really appreciate you watching the video. Um, I hope you found it interesting. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think of Lumen. Let me know if you think they're going to make it or, or any concerns you have or any positive news or any positive uh, comments you'd put on the company. Thanks again for watching. Do me a favor and like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. With that, good luck investing in 2023.